they marched in their hundreds against a government they say is becoming less democratic. They accuse it of jailing opponents, silencing independent media and being influenced by Russia. Protesters in Tbilisi are calling for the release of jailed ex-president Mikhail Saakashvili. The two-term leader is serving six years in prison for abuse of power. In 89, we were fighting pro-Russian communist government here on the streets of Tbilisi. Exactly the same way. Today, we are fighting pro-Putinist government in Georgia. Georgia applied for EU membership along with Ukraine and Moldova days after Russia invaded Ukraine last year. In June, the EU called on Tbilisi for political and judicial changes to gain membership. Opponents say recent government actions harm Georgia's chances. 32 years ago, Georgia got the independence from Soviet Union. And that is why we stand here. Because, uh, like, for us, the most important is and further steps is to got EU membership and NATO membership. And Georgian people are united around this goal. Last month, widespread protests forced the government to abandon a controversial bill. It would have required any non-governmental agency receiving money from abroad to register as a foreign agent. Critics say the bill was modelled on one introduced in Russia years earlier to suppress dissent. Sadly, the government controlled by the Kremlin is trying to turn our country into a Russian province. So the people who gathered here today demand the European future of our country. We won't get tired in this fight. The government says it remains committed to Georgia's EU and NATO membership bids. But leaders have stepped up anti-Western rhetoric after the U.S. banned visas for four judges facing corruption accusations. Washington's toughening of stance towards an ally comes after concerns about Georgia shift towards Russia. Omikulsum Sharif, Al Jazeera.